Hi, and welcome to Super Cool Nerd Review. I'm Kat, this is Cass, and we are reviewing the movie They Remain. They Remain is about two scientists who are investigating a disturbance, probably in a remote area, it wasn't really made clear, that may or may not have to do with something that happened with a cult there and maybe some dead people. Cass, did you like this movie? Um, I have to say, overall, uh, no, that, that I didn't. Uh, it has a lot of positive and negative things that we will discuss, but overall, I gotta say, no, I didn't. What about you? I, I enjoyed it until literally the halfway mark. Yeah. Right at halfway, I realized what was happening, mm-hmm. or rather didn't realize anything that was happening, and I was concerned. What did you think about the story characters? Um, it's interesting that you said story characters. Uh, one of the biggest things about this movie, like a lot of movies that are investigating something or have a mystery is that the uh, the characters are intrinsically linked with the story. And that is uh, maybe one of the biggest problems that this movie has is that the story is not well-defined, and so neither are the characters. Um, there are several points in the movie where uh, some information is shared between the characters, and you have no idea why this information is being shared. Is it... Uh, Just a normal conversation? Is this uh, specifically about their work? Is this tangentially related to their work? You just, you don't know. And uh, that might be uh, the biggest, the biggest singular problem with this movie. I agree. Uh, The two main scientists, well, the two main characters, virtually the only characters are William Jackson Harper, who you might know from NBC's The Good Place. He plays Chidi, which is a character that I love. And Jessica, played by Rebecca Henderson. And their performances, the actors' performances, are really, really good. Like Philip Gillott, who directed this movie, he knows how to direct actors, there was a really interesting tension between when they were outside in vast open spaces and when they were inside in like the intimate like tent setting yeah. that the scientists were working in. And they did a really good job. But overall, about halfway through, I realized they weren't going to define the story, the characters, why they were there, what they were investigating, what their cameras were recording, mm. whether discussions they had were related to them as exes which they are or as scientists and it just it it kind of fell apart for me but it is beautifully shot it is so beautifully shot think like uh the crazies was a horror movie a few years ago that i really enjoyed the cinematography and on this one's very much the same it's very rich and colorful and interestingly filmed there was like there's a night scene with them by a campfire and they're backlit by this this shape of the tent and it's just beautiful and i really enjoyed that aspect and there there are two uh there are two distinct areas where most of the action happens and it's essentially just outside and inside and uh the difference between the cinematography of outside versus inside is where that cinematography seems to shine through is um, there's a difference? Uh, there's a difference between being outside and inside, and inside is much more intimate between these two characters. And outside, it mo- mostly fa- focuses on one character uh, on the outside, and you can feel kind of the loneliness because there are only essentially two characters, and you can feel the loneliness, and then you can feel this kind of awkward intimacy inside, and that that is brilliant. Uh, if only. We understood why that was happening. That was that was upsetting. They're doing. You can just see it in the script written as various sciency things yeah. <laughs> because they never put a definition around it. But yeah, yeah I really liked that. I enjoyed the angles. There were a lot of empty thirds behind the actors, which is really appropriate for a horror movie because yeah. it keeps you tense at least until halfway through the movie. So I think overall, I would give this maybe three and a half stars, maybe four stars out of ten, in that I enjoyed the cinematography, I enjoyed the performances, but the story didn't hold up for me. What about you? I would agree. Um, I would say four stars, uh, and essentially the same thing. Um, If the story had been good, I would probably have given it like an eight. 
because everything else about it is so interesting. And the aspects of it are so at home in horror. Um, the, the empty thirds behind the actors, the cinematography, the loneliness, all of that is really at home in horror. But you also have to understand in horror that you can tell some of the story. You can answer some of the questions without giving away everything. And that's really the thing that I wish they would have understood in this movie. Yeah, you have to answer a couple of questions. Yeah. Because if it's all questions all throughout, then you end up like nitpicking and not knowing what to pay attention to. Yeah. I would see another Philip Jalot movie. Absolutely, yeah. I think everyone involved is really talented. They just need maybe another perspective or a couple yeah. things to work out. Yeah. And it would be really well done. So this has been super cool nerd reviews and we'll see you next time.